Hey guys, in this video we're going to do a little update to the 17mm uh, hub adapter for the Centon 4x4 from Arma. Now this is a 3S Centon and we put in a recent video, we went ahead and we upgraded to these. Now these are the 17mm hub adapters which allow you to run most of the 8 scale wheels on this car. Now this is a 10 scale car and these do go on well and they did work okay for dirt and whatnot but they don't tighten down the way I like them to. They stay a little bit loose. They did not work for pavement, allow the tires to move just a little more than I was comfortable with. So I, well, I was disappointed with them a little bit. They, like I say, they did work pretty good in the dirt, but that's a lot of power to put on that. Now you guys came to the rescue on this and you sent me some links to find some stuff that's a little better. And what we've come up with now is Hot Racing has come out with these. Now these offset the wheel about 10 millimeters they do have a tightening bolt right in here so when you put the hub on you can crank it down on the threads and it holds it really snug real nice if you need the offset for bigger tires these are the bomb and here's what they are right here okay and then there are some that I found from a very unlikely source but Red Cat Racing this is the part number guys and this is what they are and these Red Cat Racing ones, they almost go straight on. The problem with this particular model, and it's these ones here, is there's just a little bit of machining to get them on because the difference between Red Cat and Arma is there's a little difference in the shaft size right here that the hex goes through. Now the shaft size is a little bit bigger on the Arma, which is nice because you can take, once you get this apart, and let's pull it apart, there we go. So this is the lug. This is the nut for the lug and everything, and it's knurled. Check it out. So it's knurled, and it's got a nice smooth deal, but it does run on the same spindle, which is really nice. Now, this part right here, and look at the video here, this part right here has a split in it, and it's got a locking bolt on it. Now, this won't slide directly onto the shaft, because it's just a little bit smaller on this collar right in here. Now, the problem with that is, well, it won't go on. But I found that if you open that hole with a 3 16 drill bit, now the idea is chuck it up in a lay or up in a vise, be real careful, drill straight down through it with a 3 16 It slides directly on, it hooks up properly, and it tightens down for a nice, check this out guys, nice solid fit nothing moves it's a beautiful thing it's a much better answer to the situation if you want to keep your stock dimensions this keeps it right in close it's going to emulate what was there but it'll allow you to use all the 17 millimeter wheels that you want like i say for the bigger tires and wheels the hot racing one there is the bomb so this is just a short update guys i'm glad you came back to have a look and i hope this helps you out Hey guys, if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and don't forget that notification to stay in, informed of videos like this to get the updates and stay current on what we've discovered here on the channel. You know, these things, when we put these together, these little videos and whatnot, we try and be accurate with the knowledge we have at hand. You guys come into play and you help us understand a wider picture of what's here. When we learn new stuff, we bring it to you so we can share it with everyone. So if you have any further comments on how to mod one of these sentons, please feel free to leave it in the comments down below and help others along the way. Hey guys, I'm AJ with AJ Jam Studios saying keep wrenching guys.